Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from my GS Electronics. Today we're going to continue with our NIDIC control techniques drive. And our job today is to check out how to set up two wire control and three wire control stations. The ones I've been using for many, many videos before. And as always, not as always, as per the last video, we're going to be using their uh, dedicated app, that is Marshall, which is going to allow us to set this drive up fairly easily. And it gives us a lot more chance to check uh, quite a bit more out the app itself. So that's what we're doing today. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first station we are going to be starting up is going to be our uh, two wire control station, which looks more or less like so. We're going to have a, a run, uh, run, uh, run forward, run reverse, jog, and potentiometer. Potentiometer is range between uh, 1 and 10 kilo ohms, whichever, uh, whatever potentiometer you get in between will do. My one looks like that. This is the Schneider made, so really, really nice potentiometer. We're going to talk about the wiring in, in a minute, and the reason I want to say that we're going to be talking about wiring in a minute is we're going to show you some really cool stuff with the drive itself. As you can see, I already have wired it in, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna crack on with the app in a minute, so the app looks like that. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna more or less gonna configure what we want those inputs to do. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna, do, we're gonna get edge, uh, set up our speed. So if you are going in our speed, we're gonna go, as you can see, configuration, what, how we're gonna be controlling our, uh, our uh, potential, uh, our speed itself. At the moment, it's in keypad, that's what we set up in the last time, so why not? So let's click on that one. We're going to go into the whatever the closest we can get. So we want to control by voltage. So uh, here we go. Voltage plus a preset. We're going to remove that preset because we don't want that. So uh, let's apply that one. So we're going to leave that for now. Let's apply to the whole uh, all the application within the, within the app. As you can see, yes, now it shows like a, ye a yellow. It says, hey, uh, we have made the changes. Uh, you need to make sure you're sending it into the drive because it hasn't recorded you been sending it that across. We're going to do that in a minute. So next we want to do, we want to set up our IOs. So let's go into IOs and let's go to digital. So digital uh, digital uh, IOs, as you can see at the moment, there's two things being assigned. T11, T11, you can see it on here. T11, which is going to be uh, this, this guy in here. It's got nothing to it. It says we've got the reference switch bit one for it. We don't want that. Let's remove it. Very simple. Let's go into it and uh, say so you can assign anything you wish to those uh, dig uh, to those inputs. If you wish to, we don't want anything. And bang, and bang. As you can see, it automatically takes off from your wiring diagram. How cool is that? It already tells you uh, how the wiring should work. It's going to get a bit cooler in upcoming videos. So uh, also, what we're going to do in here, as you can see in here, it says run, stop, configuration. So it's, it's like says keypad on it. That's like something that... Uh, the now they could come up with the most common uh, ways people control the drives and they made these presets in here. Right in here you can see what they are, reading it through if you wish. I'm going to look for something similar that I want to do. So you can see in here, enable on 12, which is going to enable our drive. As you can see at the moment, drive is enabled. The reason, because uh, our uh, e-stop is uh, on. We're gonna, I can talk about wiring in a minute. So I'm going to choose this option because that's the closest to what I'm trying to achieve. So uh, around forwards T13, around reverse T14, that's good for me, let's apply. So by clicking OK, let's go back, uh, let's apply to that one. If you go down a little bit more, right in here, see there's a wiring diagram. So let's, hopefully you guys can see it. By clicking in here, what NIDA has, NIDA control the Kinesis has done is, as you can see now it tells you what you have set up already. As you can see, there's my potentiometer has been set up right there, and this is how you need to wire it, 0 but plus 10, and where is the reference one selection. So, pretty cool is, why not? So, but, as you can see, I don't have a jog button. No problem, we can fix that one. So let's get back, let's go into the thingy, digital, and you can use whichever free uh, digital inputs are available. Take it, I'm going to take digital input 5 right in here. And I'm going to go into the, as you can see, in set terminal settings. And in here, right, this guy in here, which is like with the pencil, click on it. And in here, you can select what you want that input to be. My, as you can see, it's got two jog options. I want jog forwards. Right now. Here we go. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Apply to our application. And let's check our wiring diagram now. So you can see, wiring diagram in here says 12 is hardware enable. Run forward, run reverse, and jog. Potentiometer, here we go. Now just follow this wiring diagram. 
wired in diagram and wired in your switches. How about that? So one last thing is left. So let's click on that little green button down there and right to the drive. So now let's right to the drive. There we go. Now all everything is being uh, transferred into the drive and that's it. You have set up your uh, two wire control station. How about that? How cool is that? And here, if you have any problems, you can obviously go in for diagnostics. And I'll see if I can generate later on videos some form of errors. There's error logs in there, differences, and uh, manual uh, guides and manuals. If you want to click on it, it takes you straight to the uh, web website. We're not going to do that. Uh, where are we? There we are. So, uh, and there's also it gives you an options for troubleshooting. We're going to be checking some of those things out uh, maybe in, 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 in the future. But as you can see, it's it is all sorts of ideas and things like how can it can help you out and there's more as you can see if you want to go into parameters and do your parameters yourself just click on parameters and there we go there's a favorite there's a whole entire menu and there's obviously functions as well and if you want to go a bit more deeper but here we go so how about all this you can see you can there's all of all lot in there we know that we're just not going to drag our time in there we are just setting up our two eye control app is full of everything you are going to need so how about now let's have a look at the wiring itself from the station so here we are so uh, as you can see my potentiometer we have got uh, one two and three so they're both coming in here one two and three as we've seen by wire part four wiring diagram so the switches yeah let's just stand right next to it right hopefully you can see exactly what's going on i have my number one cable which is which is my terminal nine coming to my east up going via my east up and going to my enable so because my enable uh, because my east up is uh, not if, if the east up is not pushed drive will be able to run but if the east up is not pushed it is pushed drive will not go if you if you click on on there as you can see it will change from inhibit to ready inhibit to ready yeah i'll power that so uh, after that it's quite straightforward the, the power comes through the east of goes to all the switches and all the switches needs to do after that as we've seen in the diagram just a second ago just need to send signals back according to what switch is doing doing what back to this block in here simples we didn't shoot any uh, relays up and things like at the moment we don't need it but again i'm most hopefully you're already getting the gist how this works so let me put the cover on and see how that works here we are, so there's our motor, there's our station, so let's let's check it out. Oh, the motor is going to, you stand, motor stands on there so you can see some of it. And there's my station. Run forward, there we go, our potentiometer, quite straightforward. Everything we just set up works perfectly well. You put two switches on, it turns, they basically lock each other out, just remove it, and they'll go into reverse. Hopefully you can see, I know the screen is not great, but it is what it is. Also, here we go, we got our uh, uh, jog, which is at the moment on 5 Hertz. Show you something else cool about app, what I love. Let's say, let's just get into app, and let's get out. So, I want to change the jog. Okay, so we go into parameters. Right in the parameters, as you can see, i got my favorites in here. I can put everything that I want to quickly access and do things with. So, I want to put jog on my favorites. Why? Well, quite simple, go through all the parameters. Find your jog, should be some, here we go, jog frequency, click, oop, go back out, click little star down here, and now if you go into favorites, it's going to be in our favorites. Cool, right? So let's change that one to about 10. Uh, let's apply to our uh, project, do that, and let's write it to the drive. So I want to do it this way so we can asynchronize at the same time. Come on. There we go. So that's been written to the drive. We are seeing. Also, you have a little a, a, a lind window in here. So if you click on it, it can tell you the the uh, about syncing, drive security, serial number check, warranties, and all this. A bit of a data about the drive itself. If you want to check it out. So for this, uh, so this station done. How about we jump onto three wire control? So as for the three wire control, I already have uh, pre-wired everything. So at the station, my station is going to look like that. Uh, it's just uh, stop, start, select switch to change into reverse if you wish to, and speed control. Wiring part, we will have uh, two normally uh, closed co uh, contacts in here, and we'll have two normally open contacts. There are several ways to achieve this. We're going to quickly have a look at some of them. So uh, w when it comes down to me, so uh, this is how I have chosen. I have chosen a run, stop configuration. Where, where's, uh, sorry, in, in a configuration, I have uh, chose run plus reverse 3 wire control. But there's other ones. And my, my one looks like so. So as you can see, 
you have like a t13 it's like a, a broken switch so that is like a, a pulse that's pretty much telling you that's gonna be the pulse so uh, then we have a ROM permit which which it, it could identify better as it should, uh, it should be as normally closed but it's sort of showing like a switch I'm not sure it could be done better to show that 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 should be a normally closed signal but hey it will do so honestly I have added this well hardware enable because I like it for my e-stop for my uh, T15 but there's another one as well in here so if you go in here so uh, let's go into here so if we go into there's another uh, three wire for jog, but th we're not gonna do that one. There's uh, this one, this this three wire. So let's have a look at this three wire. So let's apply that. As you can see now, the T13 is start start can be pulsed and reverse can be pulsed if you wish to change it to a buttons. How cool is that? Giving you both options. Why not? So I'm not gonna do that because I like my switch. So that's gonna be was it this one? Yes, that one. So here we go. So now I'm working like that. So I already pumped it in. I'm not going to do anything else. And all I say, only thing I add is hardware enabled for my uh, and, uh, drive to be enabled on my e -stop. That's it. So if you go back into a wiring diagram, I'm going to show you exactly in here what you need to do. And there's your run permit, run, reverse, and hardware enable. Here we go. So I'll close that. Let's get to the wiring. So when it comes down to wiring, it's quite straightforward. I have a uh, 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 positive uh, the, the the 24 volt DC coming to my uh, e stop, going through my e stop, and coming back to my hardware enable. As long as that one is uh, not pushed, my hardware is going to be always in ready. So after that, it goes into the stop. From the stop, it's coming back because remember that has to be normally closed. So it's coming back to our a uh, T12. So from there on, from the stop, it goes into the into the two normally uh, open contacts. From there on, one normal component is start forwards. And then I can uh, normal uh, um, uh, and another one is going to be my reverse, which has to be permanently on, pulsed permanently on if I want to reverse. So let me put the cover on. See how that works. There we are. So there's our station. Let's check it. You started. Our motor is spinning right down here. So uh, by clicking reverse, as long as it stays on, it will go into reverse, our potentiometer, right in here. And it goes uh, automatically into reverse, and to stop it is with that. And obviously when we have e-stop, nothing will work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. We're going to be check out more options in the next video, which is going to be a uh, uh, up and down uh, speed control. Uh, control station and also multi frequency setup. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's giving you uh, good ideas how things work with this incredibly good app. And as I said, as I said in the last video, it's revolutionary. I think it's brilliant. It's easy, and and uh, you, we still haven't got to the diagnostics. And um, hopefully, possibly, I will have some videos in in the future. Is you can just get all the problems out of. You can quickly have a look at what it is, what you need to do. Awesome. So. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like that video if you do like it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.